Welcome to TrumpWire, your trusted source for breaking headlines, global insights, and sharp analysis from around the word. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. A seismic shift is underway in the world of technology. The global landscape is being redrawn, not by new inventions, but by bold political moves that will echo for years to come. China, the world's largest consumer of semiconductors, has drawn a line in the sand. For decades, the country relied heavily on foreign technology to power its rapid economic growth and digital transformation. Now Beijing has ordered a sweeping ban on foreign-made computer chips in government systems, telecom, and state-owned enterprises. This is a move that signals a new era of self-reliance and strategic independence. This is not a suggestion, it's a direct command. The message is clear. The era of Western tech reliance is over. Chinese officials are determined to build a homegrown tech ecosystem, no matter the cost. The move marks the most significant step in the great tech decoupling, a deliberate split between the world's two largest economies. The once intertwined supply chains are being unraveled, piece by piece. Years of rising tensions, especially with the US, set the stage for this confrontation. Washington's export controls on Chinese tech giants like Huawei exposed China's critical vulnerability, its dependence on advanced foreign chips. The ban is a defensive maneuver, a bold pivot to reclaim technological control. China is now pouring billions into research, development and manufacturing, determined to close the gap and secure its digital future. The implications are vast, reshaping global trade, business models and the future of innovation. Supply chains are being rerouted and companies worldwide are scrambling to adapt to the new rules of engagement. For Western companies, China was the market, a source of immense profits and growth. Now, that engine is sputtering by decree, leaving executives to rethink their strategies and investments. This is more than a trade dispute, it's a battle for technological supremacy in the 21st century. The outcome will determine who leads in artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and the next wave of digital innovation. The world is watching as the aftershocks of this decision begin to reshape our digital world. Every nation, every company, and every consumer will feel the impact as the global tech order is rewritten before our eyes. To grasp the magnitude of China's move, you need to understand what a semiconductor is. These chips are the brains of modern civilization, powering everything from smartphones and cars to hospitals and the internet. In today's economy semiconductors are as vital as oil once was, without them, assembly lines halt, networks fail, and financial systems freeze. The future, AI, 5G, quantum computing, depends on ever more advanced chips. Creating them is a marvel of global collaboration, design in the US, fabrication in Taiwan, assembly in Malaysia. This intricate supply chain has driven innovation but also created vulnerabilities. A single broken link can disrupt the world, as recent chip shortages proved. China's move isn't just about swapping suppliers, it's about replicating an entire ecosystem built over decades. The stakes control over the silicon heartbeat of the future. The financial fallout from China's chip blockade is staggering, sending shockwaves through the global technology sector and beyond. The world is witnessing a seismic shift in the balance of power, as the flow of critical components is disrupted overnight. Every year China imports over $300 billion worth of semiconductors, an amount that actually surpasses what it spends on oil. These chips are the lifeblood of modern electronics, powering everything from smartphones to supercomputers, and their steady supply has been crucial for both Chinese industry and the global tech ecosystem. This massive spending has fueled the rise of global giants like NVIDIA and ASML whose cutting-edge technologies have become indispensable to the world's digital infrastructure. Their innovations have shaped the future of computing, artificial intelligence, and advanced manufacturing. But now, with the sudden halt in Chinese demand, a huge revenue stream is being cut off almost overnight. The impact is immediate, with stock prices tumbling and investors scrambling to assess the damage. NVIDIA, the undisputed leader in AI chips, faces billions in lost sales and is being forced to completely rethink its global strategy. The company must now navigate a world where one of its largest markets is suddenly out of reach, threatening its dominance in the industry. ASML, the only company capable of producing extreme ultraviolet lithography machines, the crown jewels of chip making, finds itself further isolated from what was once its largest and most lucrative market. The company's future growth is now in question. The United States had already pressured the Netherlands to block ASML's most advanced machines from reaching China. Now, with China's own retaliatory ban, the divide between East and West is deepening, turning technology into a new front in global geopolitics. The capital that once flowed out to foreign suppliers will now be redirected to fund China's domestic chip industry. This is more than just an economic shift, it's a strategic move to build a war chest for technological self-reliance and future innovation. 
For Western firms like Qualcomm, Intel and Samsung, the loss of access to the world's largest market is a permanent hole in their balance sheets. Years of investment and partnership are being erased in a matter of months. China is now actively designing these companies out of its future, replacing Western technology with homegrown alternatives and accelerating the push for complete independence. The shock to the global tech industry is immediate, but the long-term consequences will be even more profound. The world is entering a new era, where technological sovereignty comes at a steep price, and the rules of the game are being rewritten for everyone. China's chip ban is rooted in a strategic doctrine, dual circulation, a policy designed to strengthen both domestic and international economic cycles. The goal is clear, reduce dependence on foreign tech, boost domestic innovation, and foster homegrown breakthroughs. Semiconductors are the centerpiece. Reliance on Western chips is seen as a significant national security risk. The US sanctions on Huawei proved just how vulnerable China was to external pressures. By building a self-sufficient chip industry, China aims to shield itself from foreign pressure and future sanctions. It's about building a digital fortress and moving up the global value chain, securing technological independence. The Made in China 2025 initiative targets dominance in high-tech sectors, with semiconductors at the very core of its ambitions. Massive state investment is pouring into new fabs, research, and aggressive talent recruitment across the country. The ban on foreign chips is both a shield and a catalyst, protecting and accelerating China's chip ambitions for the future. The political will behind this push is stronger than ever, driving China's relentless pursuit of self-reliance. The immediate casualties of China's tech blockade are the Western chip giants. These companies once confident in their global dominance now find themselves facing a new and unexpected threat that is shaking the very foundation of their business models. U.S. firms like Intel, Qualcomm, and Micron have relied on China for a quarter or more of their revenue. For years, China has been a crucial market, fueling growth and justifying massive investments in research, manufacturing, and talent. Now, with the door suddenly slammed shut, these companies are scrambling to adapt. The sudden market closure means lower sales, shrinking profits, and tough questions for shareholders. Stock prices tumble as investors worry about the long-term impact, and boardrooms are filled with anxiety as leaders search for new strategies to fill the gap left by China. Research and development budgets will take a hit, threatening future innovation. With less money flowing in, projects are delayed or canceled, and the pipeline of next-generation technology slows to a trickle. The West's ability to stay ahead in the tech race is suddenly in doubt. Europe isn't spared. ASML and Infineon face uncertainty as China blocks even older generation equipment. European firms, which once saw China as a reliable customer for their advanced tools and components, now face a future clouded by unpredictability and lost opportunities. The ripple effects hit suppliers of chemicals, software and components across the West. Entire supply chains are disrupted, from specialty materials to critical design software, leaving thousands of jobs and businesses at risk. Policymakers hoped export controls would slow China's rise, but the push for self-sufficiency may backfire. Instead of weakening China, these measures could accelerate its determination to build a homegrown tech ecosystem, making it less dependent on the West. If China succeeds, it will be immune to future sanctions, eroding Western leverage. The balance of power in the global tech industry could shift dramatically, with China setting its own standards and leading innovation. Less revenue from China means less money for R&D, potentially slowing Western tech progress. The innovation gap could narrow, and the West's traditional edge in technology may be at risk of slipping away. The cycle is vicious. As Western firms weaken, China's state-backed champions gain ground. Every setback for the West is a new opportunity for China's tech sector to expand, innovate, and capture global market share. The damage is not just financial, it's strategic. The West now faces a future where its influence over the world's most critical technologies is no longer guaranteed, and the global balance of power is being rewritten before our eyes. China's chip ban is a catalyst, ending the era of a unified global tech market. We're entering a world of competing ecosystems, one led by the US and allies, the other by China. Products and standards may no longer be compatible across blocks. Companies must now choose sides, building redundant supply chains, one for China, one for the rest. This shift from efficiency to security means higher costs and more complexity. Innovation could slow as collaboration gives way to duplication and competition. Competing technical standards may create a splinter net, with apps and devices siloed by region. For consumers, prices will rise and choices may shrink. The seamless global digital experience is under threat. Technology once a force for connection is becoming a barrier of division. The global tech landscape is being redrawn before our eyes. China's quest for chip self-sufficiency is a monumental challenge. 
The country lagged several generations behind leaders like TSMC and Samsung. Advanced chips required decades of expertise and access to tools like ASML's EUV machines, currently out of reach. China's domestic champions like SMIC can make older chips but remain behind the frontier. Billions are being poured into developing homegrown equipment and talent, but progress will take years. Still, China has strengths, a vast talent pool, government backing, and a huge domestic market. The chip ban creates a protected space for local firms to grow. The world is watching for breakthroughs. Can China mass-produce advanced chips or develop its own lithography tools? The ultimate test, how China's chips perform in real-world applications. The journey will be long but Beijing has made it clear, failure is not an option.